Here we have our enzyme. It's a protein in the body that catalyzes reactions. And it, it catalyzes by lowering activation energy in the body. Activation energy is the amount of energy it takes for a re reaction to occur in the body. Without the enzymes, the reactions would take too long and we would die because we wouldn't be getting any energy out of uh, the foods that we ate. Enzymes bond to a specific substrate, which is this guy, um, and he does this by getting the substrate into an act, his active site. Now, once the substrate is in the active site, the enzyme will bend and pull and twist to break this substrate. And it will spit it out. But these enzymes are recyclable or reusable, so they can do this multiple times, get a substrate, break it, and then get another one. This happens multiple times, so they last very long. If our body doesn't want our enzymes uh, breaking as many substrates, it can, add, it can add inhibitors. And there are two types of inhibitors. A competitive inhibitor, which competes for the active site and keeps the substrate out. So even with the substrate trying to get in, the inhibitor will block it and not allow it to enter the active site. There are also non-competitive inhibitors, which bind to an allosteric site on the enzyme and kind of deform the enzyme so the substrate cannot can no longer bond to the active site. Now, there's always a slight chance that a substrate will be able to squeeze in and bond, but it's not very likely. Now, there are... There's uh, an, a little protein or molecule that binds to its own site on the enzyme called an activator. This will keep the shape of the enzyme, but it will block out the allosteric site so the non-competitive inhibitor won't be able to get in. But as you can see, the substrate binds just fine to the active site to release energy. There's also another way that we could keep uh, substrates binding without having inhibitors, and that would just be by increasing the amount of substrates that we have in our body, and the amount of inhibitors would basically stay the same, but we'd have more substrates, so they'd be able to, the enzymes would be able to find the substrates easier and it would help give us energy. So this was just my short video on enzymes.